Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor presented by Forex Solutions team. I am Sanjay. From this playlist guys, we are going to create another exciting playlist of WordPress called WordPress Plugin with Tiny MC Editor. And this is our first video session. In this video session guys, we will discuss only about the introduction section of WordPress Plugin with Tiny MC Editor. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel, then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous playlist to get a clear concept about WordPress customizations. So basically guys so far we have created multiple playlists inside online web tutor about WordPress customizations where we have covered several things about WordPress stuff. Okay, so we are going to add a new playlist inside online web tutor something called WordPress plugin with tiny MC editor. So what basically WordPress plugin with tiny MC tiny MC editor stands for. So if you go to just WordPress setup. So this is a WordPress setup guys actually newly created by us. Okay, so what actually stands for so just go to post section click on add new so as we know guys this is called tiny mc editor actually wordpress default provides okay so what actually this playlist stands for so as we can see that here inside tiny mc editor we have several controls as we can see bold italic as we have bulleted list and several controls actually provided by our wordpress setup this is also known as tiny mc features okay so this these are all controls of tiny mc so what actually we want we want that while suppose we are going to make a plugin or we are going to make a theme so while activating our plugin or theme we want to add some of the custom buttons inside tiny mc editor so that we can control our functionality by clicking on these buttons okay so just going to plugin section we are going to install a plugin and and trying to see that actually what we expect for this playlist so click on add new just simply we are going to install a plugin from WordPress plugin repository okay I am going to type something called quiz maker this is a plugin actually provided by WordPress okay so let me search that so as we can see that this is the plugin so click on install now so now this is talking about or taking some details about FTP so to remove this pop-up we have to add a configuration step in wp-config.php because this is newly created okay so basically guys if you are a window user or any other operating system then you might actually don't see this pop-up okay so I'm just copy this statement let me paste it here and I'm going to write something called fs method fs method and this is a constant I'm going to pass some of the value inside this constant something called direct Okay, so just save this page. We have successfully updated our WP config file. Just reload this page. Wow. Now again I'm going to click on this quit maker install now button and as we can see that the pop-up doesn't appeared. So successfully as we can see that plugin is now installing. Successfully we have installed quiz maker plugin so just click on activate. Successfully we are going to activate this plugin to our WordPress setup. Now we have installed and activated quiz maker plugin to our WordPress setup as we can see. So just go to post section. Inside post section if I click on add new, just scroll down. So here inside our tiny MC control buttons guys a new custom button actually added called add quiz. This is something actually added by our plugin that we have installed called quiz maker. Okay. So this is actually playlist stands for we want that we are going to make a custom plugin and now inside that plugin if we activate that plugin then this plugin actually add some of the controls inside this tiny MC so that we can control over the functionality of this tiny MC editor okay so if I click on this button here is our pop-up okay this is pop-up actually appeared by the plugin called quiz maker here we have a drop-down list where we have to select some of the quiz Okay, so I'm going to click on celebrities. This is the default values actually provided by this plugin. So click on insert. By clicking on that guys, actually a sort code has been inserted inside tiny MC content editor. Okay, so just let's say that tiny MC post one. Okay, click on publish. We are going to just publish a sample post that we have created. Okay, now we have created successfully. Let's open up a new tab. So if you go to front end section, as we can see that this is the post that we have created and now here we have something called celebrities so if I click on start here we have some questions right here as we can see that who 
who is the who is in the picture so we have to select some of the quizzes inside this box so this was actually not the concern of this video session this video session actually concerned that how can we add our custom buttons inside this tiny mc toolbar so that we can control our functionality by the help of plugin to this wordpress setup also if you just scroll up click on add new we are going to create another post let's say that sample post to okay i am going to write some of the sample statement inside this content so that this is sample post we have created okay so if we want to make it as a bold just select and click on this b symbol okay successfully we have make it as bold if suppose we want to make it is italic so just select and click on this i icon so we have successfully converted this statement as a italic statement so these are the things guys actually we can control over this text by the help of this toolbar icons okay so we want that inside this playlist guys we are going to make a plugin by the help of plugin we actually are going to add some of the custom controls inside this tiny mc toolbar so that if you want to control over the text then how can we control by the help of our custom buttons so as i hope guys that actually you have worked with wordpress setup then you have installed several plugins in while working with wordpress so you have seen several times about the custom buttons inside tiny mc toolbars so you have a question right there that oh, how can we add these buttons to our custom actually editor so inside this playlist guys called wordpress plugin with tiny mc editor we will see all the concept of adding our custom toolbar icons with tiny mc editor okay and this is the github link guys actually right now this will be empty because we have not made any coding in this video session so in our upcoming videos if we did any code then we actually upload that code to this github link okay so inside this video session guys if you have any query then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day